Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to come and I guess kind of do an update video on my coupon binder or make that binders. <laughs> yeah, I've actually had to upgrade to using two binders because I have so many coupons and they don't fit in my three inch binder anymore and I just bought that binder about a month ago. So I'm considering another method but for now this is what I have to work with. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you see how I divide my coupons into two binders. So here we go. Okay here are my two binders. This is actually the second binder the first binder I just used a regular white one inch binder without any pockets or anything and I already had that from high school almost ten years ago nine years ago so I bought this one because it has the little pocket in the clothes velcro so this is an inch and a half or two inches and it has <clears throat> This little pocket here, obviously, I keep the essentials in there and then has this section, which is where I keep my receipts. And this, it also has the um, accordion file. This is my binder for my fruit, food products. So I have my Publix and Win Dixie ads in there. And here I got rid of using the white envelopes all together because I have these really cool you can peel them off and they stick and they're little envelopes so when I have coupons that I want to go and use at Winn-Dixie I put them in this one and then the top is Publix along with my cards for each store and this is a this is a big sheet protector for an eight 8 by 11 I think just a regular size so for right now I just have some extra coupons in there and this actually does not belong in there that's my Walgreens coupon booklet so I have my coupons divided in by categories I know many people do it alphabetically some do it by categories this is just how I do it I in my previous video, if you've seen my coupon binder video, the first video, it I had um, dividers, but I took those out because the dividers were taking up literally like this much space. I did not throw them away. I still have them, but I took them out and I made my own little divider tab. I got some card stock and folded it in half and then used some packing tape and taped it completely, taped all the way onto them. Um, I did make sure that they're not covering any of the openings. So if you can see, I have basically like two per card section. And this one. See, so it's not covering any of the openings at all. I still have access to all my things. So this is my grocery binder. And it also has my baby section, which includes some items that are not food, but they're for baby, like diapers and stuff, because I mostly buy my diapers at Publix. I only get them at Walgreens or CVS when there are good deals and rewards back. So at the end, there's also this little pocket section, and I guess this for... A lip gloss or something it doesn't really fit a phone so I like this binder but I grew out of it very quickly and I grew into this binder which is a very well known for couponing They're the case it binders and it has a little zip up here there isn't anything in here but this is good for when you find peelies or blinkies or tear off Ta uh, padlet coupons you can just put them in there and organize them later the reason I love this binder is it has a handle 
and it has a shoulder strap so it makes it very easy for carrying and it's a zip up three ring binder so you don't lose any coupons which is awesome and in here let's fold back the zipper part it also has an accordion file and this is my non-food coupon binder so I have my CVS, Walgreens, Target, Kmart, and Walmart ads in here and it also has a little here I just have like excess cards, savings cards, my extra Publix my Kmart and Toys R Us and the, the store cards is what I keep in there. I can also put like little extra coupons or just, you know, whatever. That's not really designated for anything specific. Here I have coupons that still need to be filed. So again, these can just, when this is emptied out, I'll just basically probably use this for a pen or whatever. Also, the same thing like in the other binder, I have these little peel off plastic envelopes. This one's for CVS and this one's for Walgreens so that way as I'm shopping in the store I have everything in the binder and I don't have to fumble with loose envelopes with coupons in them. And again this is just the regular um, sheet protector that I stuck those on the front of. My plans for these where I have these um, envelopes is to put my store policies in there either in here or in the accordion file with each store ad so these are some extra coupons that are oversized and definitely cannot fold them small enough to fit in the baseball card holders and I have just my my oral and just different categories you know, see deodorant shaving and I also have my beauty and makeup and household cleaners medicine um, air fresheners and candles and all the rest and I also have my store coupons as far as like restaurant coupons pet smart and all of those that you know come every usually every week in the paper I have them here as well and just some extra sheet protectors baseball card sheet protectors and the full size so there's also a pocket back here which I usually don't use since it is all the way in the back but this would also be a good place for the um, the store coupon policies since hopefully I won't have to be pulling them out too much <laughs> educate your my managers and cashiers on what their own policy says because I have been having a lot of issues lately with getting mixed signals as to what their policy is and what they think it is and what it actually is so it's good to have your coupon policy um, I still use my box which I'll show you in just a second I still use my box when I'm clipping my coupons. This has the same categories. I've shown this before. These are all extra little things. It has the same categories in the same order of my binders. In the front would be basically my up to the baby would be my red binder. And then this all would be my green binder. So as I'm clipping my coupons, I put them in the category where they belong. And then once I'm done taking out all of the expired coupons from the binder, I will put these in the binder. And it will remain empty as it is now, except for a few things. Like you see, you have a big fat stack of these yogurt coupons. And these are store coupons which can be stacked with a manufacturer's coupon. I have a big huge stack of them and I don't want to fold them all and put them in my binder so I just left them there. And um, I'm considering not clipping my coupons anymore and instead like typing up 
a list of the coupons in that specific insert and then putting the insert in here with the list that I print out in front of the insert showing me the date and name of the insert with all the coupons that are in the insert and then just marking off you know xing it out as I use the coupon so that way I don't have to clip and have so many so many sheets of loose coupons that I can just have them as the booklets you know in here and have these in the binder with my scissors and as I'm planning my shopping to clip them at that time instead of doing it clipping them all up front on Saturday when I get my coupons but I'm still thinking about that so I'm not sure yet I do like this method it just takes a lot of time on Saturday because I have to clip everything and organize it and put it away but then it saves me a lot of time in the store because in the store I don't have to clip or search through the inserts page by page looking for the coupon so it does save time that way so I guess either way it's all about where do you want it when do you want to spend the time clipping and organizing the coupons do you want to do it all up front if yes then the way I'm doing it now is a good way if you have the time then that's awesome but if you don't and you would prefer to spend the time searching and clipping and organizing before every shopping trip then I think the other way that I'm thinking about doing it would be better. But I don't usually plan every shopping trip. I like to have my coupons with me all the time just in case there's a good deal. So kind of <laughs> going back and forth about which method I want to use, which binder method I want to use the ones with the baseball card holders or the one where I don't clip the coupons up front. I think I'm going to stick with what I have but just have two binders and if I can find a 5 inch zip up binder with a strap or a handle I would love to get one. Then I can keep it all in one binder and have the strap or handle to make it easy to carry in the zipper so I don't lose any coupons if I drop it. Um, so if any of you guys know where I can find a bigger zip up binder possibly preferably with a handle or strap shoulder strap that's five inch four or five inch please let me know because I would love to get one um, it's worth the money for me because I use it every day I'm in my binder every day so I'll spend the money to get it I paid my, my husband paid fifteen dollars to get my red binder and I paid twenty dollars to get my green binder but for the amount of savings I've gone by using the coupons it's been far worth the money to buy them plus they won't I mean if I never use them again I, my kids will use them for school so anyways that's besides the point <laughs> I know I talk too much I'm sorry I'm gonna end this video because I'm driving myself crazy with all the talking I'm doing so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my binders and just leave your comments or questions and let me know please if you know where I can get a bigger zip up binder five inches so you guys have a good day bye